morning from Mexico City. I'm Molly and I'm so excited you're watching this video. Me and my husband are here for our one year anniversary and I'm so excited to be taking you guys along. We actually got here last night and we went to the most amazing dinner and I'd intended on bringing my camera and vlogging the place that we went to and realized that I did not bring my battery. So I'm gonna insert a few videos um, and photos that I took at the restaurant, but it was so much fun. It was just called Botanica and they had all these amazing plants and the food was so so good we got a burger and oh my gosh what did we get we got a burger and what pork belly I never ordered per pork belly so I couldn't remember what it was called we got a, bur a burger pork belly and their sourdough bread it was so so good highly recommend today is our first full day we really don't have many plans because today is our actual anniversary so we really just wanted to take things slow um, so it's about 8 ish, 8 30 right now. We are gonna walk to a coffee spot that I'd seen a lot of people have said it's really good, and then we have reservations for both brunch and dinner. But we're just gonna do a lot of wandering around. Can't wait just to show you guys where we go. Our Airbnb was about a 15 minute walk to a cozy coffee shop called Quinton Cafe. We loved the pathway in the middle of the streets lined with trees, it made all the walks so beautiful. At the cafe, I ordered a golden milk latte, and Dom got a regular latte. Golden milk always has a strong taste, but it was really delicious. Our brunch was a short walk away, so after staying at the cafe for a while, we moseyed on over to Madre Cafe for brunch, and it was already pretty crowded, so definitely get reservations if you come here. You'll notice a trend in this vlog, and that is that we got coffee quite a bit on this trip, but the lattes were so good, and this was definitely my healthiest order out of the entire trip. The rest of the afternoon, we explored the Roman Norte neighborhood, shopping at vendors along the streets, and popping into cool stores, which I didn't really film because we didn't buy anything, so I felt weird filming. We could have wandered around for hours, though. We got hungry in the afternoon, so we stopped at one of the many locations of this churro spot, and I devoured them. <laughs> We went to a really big marketplace, and it's a great spot if you're looking for reasonably priced souvenirs. It was our one year anniversary, and we celebrated at Blanco Colima, which is in a stunning building that was built in either 1907 or 1912, but I can't remember what they said. The service was top notch. We loved both our drinks and the food, and they surprised us with this dessert for our anniversary at the end, which was so sweet. Good morning, it is day two in Mexico City. We just finished um, kind of getting ready. I just got out of the shower and Dom is finishing getting ready before we head out for the day. As you guys just saw, we had such a like relaxed day yesterday and it was so much fun. My like typical kind of travel style is more so to plan everything out, have like all of like the timestamps, where you're gonna go, all of, like that whole thing. And we really only had where we wanted to go to coffee, go to breakfast, and go to dinner because we had reservations for both those places. And besides that, we just knew we wanted to wander around. And honestly, it was so much fun. We loved just getting to wander through our neighborhood, which is Roma Norte. I can't remember if I've said that or not. Um, but yeah, we just had so much fun. We also got to go to the market as y'all saw. So it was a blast. I don't know how many steps we walked. Um, I definitely want to check my Garmin because I feel like we walked so, so much. We have been looking forward to today, like literally since we booked our trip we are going on a food tour so I'm stoked um, we're just gonna run out and go get coffee and then we actually have a COVID test scheduled right before that because we have to have a negative COVID test before going back um, we have to have a negative COVID test before going back to the United States so we have that scheduled and then we're gonna have to hustle over to our food tour and that's like three and a half hours so it is gonna be so much fun we cannot wait and I can't wait to take y'all along of course we had to start out with more coffee and I think this spot was my favorite because the pastries were just so good. We met up with our group for our street food tour, which I'll include the information of the group below, and we met in the downtown area. We died and went to Taco Heaven. There were eight stops along this tour, and I honestly don't even have words to describe how freaking delicious everything was. We even got to taste some pulque, which is made from agave, and it had such an interesting texture, but it was actually so good. The tour ended with more churros at the original location of El Muro, and I can't turn down churros, so I ate a lot of them. The tacos were seriously a highlight of this trip. We spent more time in downtown before heading to La Condesa, which seemed pretty similar to Roma Norte in my opinion, so we loved walking around there just as much. And of course we got more coffee, but this time just decaf. Treating ourselves to a spa night felt right, so we booked a couple's massage. Our massages ended pretty late, but we hadn't eaten since all the tacos, so we walked to get ramen and ate it back at our Airbnb, and it was pretty good ramen, I'm not gonna lie. 
It's our last day in Mexico City. We're so sad. We've literally had the best time. We stayed up so late last night. We, you saw all the clips obviously, but we got back from the spa at like 9.30 and we hadn't had dinner yet because we were so full from the food tour, which oh my gosh, literally was so, so good. If you do anything here that I posted about, please do that. But we've been so full the entire day that we hadn't needed to eat again. So 9.30 came around and we were like, okay, I'm kind of starting to get hungry again. Like, should we eat? Like, should we just go to bed? So we literally like talked about it until 10 o'clock. Then we decided to walk to a ramen place. Didn't get that until 11 o'clock. So we ended up going to bed around midnight. So I'm a little tired this morning, but really excited for our last morning um, just of exploring here. Our flight is at six o'clock I think it leaves it leaves at six um, so we're not really sure what to expect at the airport so kind of gonna side on the air like the air on the side of caution I was like what am I trying to say here air on the side of caution and get to the airport with probably like four maybe like three or four hours still trying to figure that out but um, definitely ample amount of time so we still have some time for fun things this morning but this trip has seriously been so much fun the city is beautiful everyone is seriously so kind we felt so safe the entire time so it has just been an absolute blast we started out at a really cute coffee shop and I got a honey latte. For breakfast, we went to Amanda Manda and we both agreed it was our favorite of the entire trip. The chilaquiles were out of this world and the design was perfect and Amanda, the owner, was genuinely so kind. I cannot recommend this spot enough. We hurried over to our reservation at Casa Gilardi or Gilardi. I'm blanking on how to say the name and I'm not sure if I'm allowed to share a lot of videos or not, so I'm only including a couple, but we loved it. It's so beautiful. Afterwards, we grabbed one last caffeine dose. I told you all we drink a lot of coffee and headed to the airport. We absolutely loved our trip and I hope you enjoyed this vlog.